in this lesson we're going to look at dividing fractions. This is the first example of six examples. We have three fifths divided by six. The first thing we want to do is change this one into a fraction and we do that by putting it over one. So what we have is three fifths divided by six over one. Dividing fractions can't be done easily, so what we can do is change it to a multiplication. In order to get the same answer, what we do is turn the second fraction upside down. So 3 fifths divided by 6 over 1 is the same as 3 fifths multiplied by, and this one gets flipped upside down, 1 over 6. So both these give us the exact same answer. The difference is multiplication is much easier to do. 3 times 1 gives us 3 on a numerator and 5 times 6 gives us 30 on the denominator. This isn't our final answer because we can simplify. 3 goes into both 3 and 30. 3 goes into 3 once and 3 goes into 30 10 times. So our final answer is one tenth. Example two. This time we have two m over five divided by six. So again, what we want to do is make this into a fraction. Dividing isn't easy to do when we have fractions, so we change it to a multiplication. In order to get the same answer, when we multiply, we must turn the second fraction upside down. So we have 2m times 1, which gives us 2m on the numerator, and 5 times 6, which gives us 30 on the denominator. Is this a final answer? It isn't because we can simplify. 2 goes into both 2 and 30. 2 goes into 2 once, so that leaves us with 1m or m on the top. And 2 goes into 30 15 times. So our final answer is m over 15. Example 3. We have two thirds divided by three over c. So again, we change it to a multiplication, which means we have to invert the second fraction or flip it upside down. So two thirds multiplied by c over three. On the numerator, we have two times c, which is 2c and on the denominator 3 times 3 which is 9. Can we simplify? We can't so 2c over 9 is our final answer. Example 4 we have 2m over 5n divided by 4m over 15n. So again we need to change our sign to multiplication and flip the second fraction upside down. So 2m over 5n multiplied by 15n over 4m. Multiplying the numerators, 2m times 15n 2 times 15 gives us 30, and m times n gives us m n. Looking at the denominators, 5n times 4m. 5 times 4 gives us 20, and n times m is again m 
n. Can we simplify? Yep, we have mn on the top and mn on the bottom, which can be cancelled. We have 30 over 20, so we can score the zeros out. That leaves us with 3 over 2 and 3 over 2. That could be left as your answer, or you could change that into a mixed number, which is 1 and a half. And that is our final answer. This isn't the only route to uh, our final answer. If we go back to the point where we had 2m over 5n multiplied by 15n over 4m, what we could have done at this point, if you remember, is we can cancel diagonally before we multiply. So we have 2m and 4m here. So 2m goes into both of these, 2m goes into 2m once, and 2m goes into 4m twice. We can also cancel diagonally the other way, 5n goes into 5n and also 15n, 5n goes into 5n once, and 5n goes into 15n three times. That leaves us with 1 times 3 on the top, which is 3, and 1 times 2 on the bottom, which is 2. Again, we get the same answer, which is 3 over 2, which we can change to a mixed number if we want, which is 1 and a half. The same final answer. Example 5. We have two fractions which we are dividing, so in order to get the right answer, we are going to change that to a multiply once again and invert the second fraction. So multiplied by w plus 1 over 4w. Okay. Now at this point, just like the previous question, we could cross cancel, but uh, just to illustrate a point, we are not going to do it this time. So we have W multiplied by W plus 1, so that gives us W bracket W plus 1 on the numerator, and W plus 1 multiplied by 4W on the denominator which gives us 4w, w plus 1 in brackets. We have w plus 1 multiplying on the top and bottom, so these can cancel. We also have w, or 1w on the top, so cancelling that w with that one. That was 1w, so that leaves us with just 1 on the top and 4 on the bottom. So our answer is one quarter.